we call our overseas workers as our modern day heroes because of the sacrifices they make while working abroad and their remittances which have sustained the Philippine economy. Two sectors in particular are not only our heroes but also of the world, particularly when the coronavirus pandemic has the global community reeling. I refer to health workers and seafarers who work abroad. Our health workers are the front line of the fight to save lives of the victims of the pandemic, the US, the UK, and the EU in particular. Our seafarers man the ships that move the global supply chain that feed the world, fuel their vehicles, supply the raw materials for manufacturing, and deliver the finished products to consumers. They are both crucial to the country's economic recovery with their remittances. Healthcare and logistics remain vital as the world emerges from the devastation that the virus has wrought on human lives and their livelihood. So it is crucial that the deployment of these workers be as friction-free as possible. 2020 has been one of the toughest years in living memory, while the pandemic itself has taken its physical toll. The mental anguish caused by extended periods of isolation and the need to keep a distance from friends and family has been just as crippling for so many people around the world. Seafarers had a particularly hard time with the national lockdowns, inadvertently calling an abrupt halt to crew changes, a humanitarian problem that is still unresolved nine months into the pandemic despite the best efforts of so many in the industry. Guy Platten, Secretary General of the International Chamber of Shipping or ICS, has worked fervently throughout the crisis to come to the aid of seafarers, coordinating pan-industry cooperation, campaigning for the right for seafarers to be designated key workers, and actively raising funds to support the mission in its programs to offer welfare support throughout the pandemic. Speaking to the sea, his message is loud and clear. Seafarers are not forgotten. Absolutely not. Guy has spent many hours every day, seven days a week, talking to people to get the message out that seafarers are global heroes. You are the key workers and without you, the world would have grounded to a halt over the past nine months, he says. All throughout the time you've delivered the food, the fuel and the medical equipment that enabled economies and societies to be able to function. The challenges of crew change as borders closed or placed and due restrictions on seafarers has been massive in a while. At the time of writing, fewer seafarers were stranded either on or offshore that at the height of the crisis. There are still too many seafarers serving well beyond their contracted rotation. Our seafarers deserves all the best in life. That's why we should give them respect and pray for them for all the time because they are the one who is helping us to save the economy. They are the true modern heroes.